Hi everyone, welcome back. In this session, I am going to discussing about data sufficiency. Let's continue the last session. See here, here the question what he has given is, uh, here the uh, question belongs to seating arrangement. Uh, M, D, T, W are sitting around a circle. Are sitting around a circle facing the center. Who is immediate left of D? That is the question. Total, here four members are there. Here total, four members are there. And given that these four members are sitting around a circle and all the four members are facing the center. We need to draw the diagram like this. All four members are facing the center. Now the first condition, first statement which is given is uh, M is between T and W. M is, let us check this is M. M is between T and W. We have another possibility that, we have another possibility that M is here, T is here, W is here. Automatically one more person, D. D is uh, at this point in both the cases. And D is immediate left of uh, T. Here in this diagram, in this diagram, D is immediate left of uh, T. This is true, true diagram. And if you see this one, D is immediate right. D is immediate right of C, uh, immediate right of T. But he is saying that uh, immediate left. So, second diagram is wrong diagram. Therefore, our final diagram is uh, this one, T, M, W, D. That is the final diagram. You got the final diagram by using statement 1 alone. So, what is your question? Who is immediate left of D? D immediate left is W. You will get the answer by using statement 1 alone. Right? And uh, let us take only second statement. If you take only second statement, according to second statement, what is the second statement given? D is second to the left of M. D is second to the left of M. So, if you take M is here, second left means that is this one. But you don't know the positions of T and W. T and W positions are we don't know exactly by using second statement. And the question what he is asking, immediate left of D. Who is immediate left? Immediate left in the sense, uh, you have to see this position, right? You don't know what who is this position, whether it is T or W. So, you will not get the answer by using second statement. Uh, you are getting the answer only by using uh, statement 1 alone. Therefore, your required answer is uh, option A is the required answer. Next question. See here. Same options. Uh, here also the problem is belongs to seating arrangement. Uh, total in this, drag, in this question, total 4 members are there. Four members P, Q, R, S sitting around a circle facing the center. Total four members. These are the four members uh, sitting around a circle facing the center. Who is immediate right of Q? That is the question. Now, first statement is R is between P and S. R is between P and S. You don't know the exact position of uh, P and S. Uh, so, remaining position that is Q. Q is at this position. According to the question, who is immediate right of Q? Immediate right in the sense, uh, this is uh, immediate right. Immediate right of Q. Who is this position? This position is uh, occupied by either P or S. Yes, either P or S. Yes. Therefore, we cannot say exactly what is this position, right? So, you will not get the answer by using statement uh, one alone. Now, let us take statement two alone. Total four members are there. Here, S is immediate right of uh, R. S is immediate right of R. Here, only these two members are there. You don't know the positions of P and Q. You don't know the positions of P and uh, Q. Therefore, you will not get the answer by using statement two alone. Why? Because you want to know the immediate right of Q. Who is immediate right of Q? But we don't know the position of Q. If the position of Q is this one, immediate right means R. If the position of Q is this one, then immediate position is uh, immediate right position is P. So you cannot say exactly who is immediate uh, 
right of q so by using st second statement also you will not get the answer now you can combine first and second both according to second statement s is immediate right of r Yes, C is immediate right. R is this one. Immediate right is nothing but yes, this one. So, this position is yes. So, automatically P is this position. P is this position. Now, the question, immediate right of Q. Immediate right of Q is automatically P. Immediate right of Q is that is uh, P. So, you will get the answer by combining both the statements together. So, what is your answer? If the data in both statements 1 and 2 together are necessary to answer the question. Option E is the right answer for this question. Let's move on to the next question. See here. A, B, C, D, E. A, B, C, D, E. These are the five members. These are the five members sitting around a circular table facing the center. Here five members are there. Total five members. Let us take these are the five members uh, and facing the center who is immediate left of C. Who is immediate left of C? That is the question. Only A is between uh, E and B. See, only A is between E and B. This is one diagram and uh, another diagram like this you can also take C. This is B and this is uh, E and uh, one more diagram C you can also draw like this and uh, here it is uh, A is this one only A is between uh, E and uh, B so if you take in this manner this these are the two diagrams and uh, here the question is who is immediate left of C here you don't know the position of C that is the reason why you cannot say exactly and uh, from first one you will not get the answer if you see the second one d is immediate left of uh, b d is immediate left of b here if you take d is here d is immediate left of b in this case d is immediate right so your answer is uh, wrong and uh, next uh, d is immediate left of uh, b so this is also wrong right this is a uh, wrong diagram in this case, uh, D is immediate left of uh, B. D is immediate left of B. So, this person is uh, D. So, finally, C is at this position. C is at this position. Now, the question is, uh, who is immediate left of C? Immediate left of C is E. You will get the answer by using a statement of... Uh, uh, here, own, uh, by using first one, you are not getting the answer. And uh, by using uh, second one, D is the immediate left of B. By using only this one also, you will not get the answer. But if you combine these two, if you combine one and two, one and two statement, then definitely you will get the answer. That is uh, option E. So, the answer is option E. Data in both the statements together are required to get the answer if you combine statement one as well as statement two definitely you will get the answer so here we have two possible diagrams out of that uh, if you see the second condition first diagram will fails uh, so that automatically second diagram is uh, true in this case uh, so your required answer is uh, data in both the statements are necessary to get the answer option e is the right right answer guys i hope you enjoy the session Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.